so what does a piece of paper have to do with the sun? I, you know what? And this eclipse. You explained it to me earlier, and I want to make <laughs> sure I understand it. So you're going to do a show and tell right now. Yeah, think of kind of like a pool. You know how a pool, you kind of get that reflection in the water okay. time in the summertime. So. Okay. What I want to show you is obviously if you have kids, they're not going to keep the glasses on for the full no. three hour time from the start nope. of the eclipse through right. the whole event. Even a few minutes for some of the kids right. is going to be too long. So right. there you go. You've yep. got the solar eclipse glasses on. <laughs> Can't see anything through these things. No, yeah, you have to be outside to see the sun. <laughs> yeah. So again, we don't want to look at the sun without those solar eclipse glasses. So if you right. got some kiddos are at home or maybe even you yourself, if you don't want to sit there at home and keep those glasses on mm -hmm. uh, for several minutes at a time, we're going to do a nice demonstration on what you can do. All you have okay. to do is grab some white pieces of paper put it down on the ground. We just have some normal sheets here of computer paper. Okay. Any size will work. We're going to pretend like this is the sun and, and Josh, be, you've got the moon. And I'll be the kid. Mom, I don't want my glasses on. Can I see the eclipse? And they can look down. All right, look, you see it coming on. You look at the paper right there and you can start to see the shadows of the moon. So that's what you're going to be able to see. Let's go ahead and do that demonstration one yep. more time yep, here. Yep, yep, yep. All right, the sun, here comes the moon in front of the sun. Look at that. You'll be able to see the shadows of that eclipse right from the piece of paper safely, and you don't need any solar eclipse glasses to look at the ground uh, to look at this. So it's counterintuitive. If you're a kid and you're like, I'm tired of these things, instead of looking up, just look down. Right. Just look down, get some pieces of paper, lay them down on the ground, yeah. and you'll be able to see those shadows coming through. Of course, as long as we don't have any cloud cover. Oh, that's and the key. And that's where we're wishing to know. How's it looking so far? Yeah, that? right now we're still keeping it partly cloudy. Okay. Well, we'll be able to get a lot more better handle on the cloud cover coming in between Friday and Saturday's forecast. Uh, all of everything though keeps wanting to push back the clouds, delay the cloud cover, so that is good uh, news here in first alert weather. You notice here are the times the partial eclipse begins at 1.53 p.m. And then as we head on into that max eclipse here in Michigan, we'll be at 96% eclipsed for that partial eclipse here in town at 3.09 Eastern time and the partial eclipse. That's when it will end at 4.23. All these times here are in the Eastern time zone. And all I want you to do is break out your phone right here, snapshot to this image here. And these are several times times of when it starts, when it peaks, when it ends, and how much of the sun will be blocked out by the moon on April 8th for that great American eclipse. Again, only a partial eclipse here in Michiana. You have to go south of Kokomo down towards Indianapolis, just south of Fort Wayne over towards Toledo to get in that 100% path of totality. And speaking of 100% path of totality, uh, there's two different things you need to know with this here in Michiana. We're only going to have a partial eclipse, meaning your solar eclipse glasses, if you're going to look up at the sun, need to be used at all times of this eclipse. But if you're in the path of that 100% totality, literally a day and night difference out there, it's when you reach that 100% path of totality down into Indianapolis over towards Toledo. That's where you're going to be able to take off your solar eclipse glasses while that uh, path there is 100% blocked. And you're also going to be able to see what's called the corona. This is this white fuzziness around the sun. That's the the sun's atmosphere and it's only during a 100% total eclipse that you're actually able to see the sun's atmosphere uh, with the uh, complete uh, naked human eye. So this is the treat. This is why people spend hundreds if not thousands of dollars and travel hundreds if not thousands of miles and it is to see really the sun's corona and you're only going to get that in the path of 100% totality here in Michiana. It's just going to look like early sunset here at home. Go ahead and scan this code here. This will take you to WNDU.com. If you notice that the landing page that it did have some of those times on it as well uh, for Michiana. That is all right now on WNDU.com where we again we have a special page set up for the solar eclipse on Monday, April 8th. 